shortcut better work. It will, I take it like every day. Is that why you always come to school late? Okay, so maybe I have had of getting up late in the morning, but I do know my shortcuts, don't worry. My phone, where's my phone? I think I lost my phone. It's 8.30, we need to get to school. Nobody comes this way, the phone will be here when we go back. Dude, who's that? It's okay, everything will be fine, miss. Go away or we'll scream, and I can be really loud if I need to be. All I wanted to do was go to school, not meet a soldier. Sir, I assure you I'm not here to harm you. You just reminded me of some kids I knew long ago, during a time when friends actually helped each other out. The town of Leesburg was close to the Battle of Balls Bluff. Soldiers would go there to get supplies and relax on their furlough days. Many found kindness and comfort from the caring residents of Leesburg. I just don't know. I love McGee so much. I sure hope he doesn't get hurt in the war. It's so hard to not know it. Don't worry, Mary. McGee won't get hurt. He is strong and brave. Besides, he's fighting with honorable men who will help each other win this war. He also has a reason to come home, Mary. I just know you have his heart. He's so kind and a good friend. When a woman wills, she will. You may depend upon it. And when she won't, she won't. And that's the end of it. Do you know what I mean? I believe I do. Love can conquer all if a woman's love is true. That's just lovely, Mary. Just lovely. My name is Mary Lack. I was born in Loudoun County and lived in Leesburg. I was a member to St. James Episcopal Church where I met my fiance, Thomas McGee. McGee was a private in the 18th Mississippi Regiment and I longed for the days when he got furlough. Oh, look at those poor, tired soldiers. They are so good. Hello, Mr. McGee. Hello, Mary. You're looking wonderful today. Thank you, Mr. McGee. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right, I guess. I understand. Maybe this will help? Why, thank you, Mary. This is so kind of you. It was nothing. Until we meet again. Bye, Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee was over here yesterday. We had a splendid time. He doesn't get a furlough often. He wanted to come to town and go to church with me. Nothing else of importance has happened today. There was another alarm last night. Pickets were sent out, but no Yankees were to be seen. Oh my. Are you hungry? Or do you need a fresh rest? My mom and I are here to help. Most days we see soldiers pass by and it's only right for us to help. We would love to if our friend here has the strength to even walk up those stairs. I'm so hungry. I look worse than I am. I'm just so hungry. My name is Virginia Miller. I am a relative of the Harrisons and live with them in Leesburg. Harrison House served as both a hospital and headquarters for the Confederate Army. I spent much of my time offering my home as a respite for the soldiers of Balsla. I have the perfect place to rest. That's my name, Miss. Say, is it your name, Virginia? Virginia Miller, if I do recall. I remember visiting a doctor friend of yours here not too long ago. Said it was the Miller family who lived in this fine yellow house. Yes, that is me. I am Virginia Miller. Nice to finally meet you, sir. I have plenty of everything. Please enjoy. Mom, are the biscuits ready? Thank you. So, may I ask, what's it like in a soldier's camp? Soldiers from the 21st Mississippi Regiment arrived in Leesburg today. I offered them a place to rest and some food to eat. Sirs, please wait. We have something to give you. Let me food for your travels. I forgot to give this to a soldier coming through today. Would you please give this to him? Thank you, Miss. Kindness is in the air. And I'll be sure to get this to your soldier. It is a long time tradition for my time that friends help each other out. Be it by sharing a snack, tending a wound, or just helping find something that a friend lost. Children can learn a lot from history. Where do you go? Stu 
late 30. How did that happen? Maybe this is just an awesome dream. Let's never forget his message. I'm going to try and go out of my way to help others, even if it's some small way. But for now, run. We can make it before the bell.